so <laughs> Nathan McKinnon won the Lady Bang Award. Yeah, that's which was probably sort the best, of, yeah. But like <clears throat> it wasn't like there were three nominees and Austin Matthews and uh, Ryan O'Reilly were like the other two you could have voted for. They came in second and third. <laughs> like the Professional Hockey Writers Association was like, yes, this man who was charged with harassment. He is, yeah, he's the most gentlemanly this year. <laughs> and uh, it's uh, insane. I mean, honestly, that award should have gone to me. Yeah, they should just give it to everyone who's like, not in the NHL. <laughs> <clears throat> Hello. How's it going? Oh, and you see Scully sighting in the background. Oh, there's a relationship behind it... you. Oh. <laughs> so, for today's unboxing, we have the budget OP cheat cards. Yeah. The most comprehensive single season base set in hockey. Those are bold claims. Yeah, I mean, it, it's probably just like actually true. I think there's like 500 cards, a uh, ton of like bad players, but also a ton of um, like different inserts. So I don't know. I think these are going to be like kind of low quality cards. I don't know if there's going to be like write ups or whatever. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, yeah. Um, but, um, Hopefully we open up some some fun inserts and stuff. Mm -hmm. Hopefully I'll be able to comprehend what's going on. <laughs> what are the big like things we hope to open up? Quinn Hughes, because yeah. there's a picture of Quinn Hughes on the side. Or in the back. On the side. Quince Hughes. And the usual, we want Ron Hazy cards. Just want like this to be five hundred Ron Hazy cards and like Trevor Moore ones. I wonder if Ilya Mikheyev has a card. That would be a nice card to get. Yeah. First pack. <clears throat> Nikolai Ehlers. Is the back in black and white? Yes. So these are so cheap. These are like the um, like the cereal box cards. Yeah, no write ups, no pronunciation guys. Uh yeah, that's too bad. Epus Lindholm Lindholm, sorry. From Sweden. It's pretty cool. There's there's no gum. Uh it's fun that these are out and there's like the season's not even done yet. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah, we give no up. season. Yeah. Gum. Lars Eller. This is great. So Chris Drieger, I have n never heard of this player. <laughs> yeah. That's what they mean by comprehensive. <coughs> it's a pretty good card, though. He's played 15 games in four seasons over the past seven or eight years. It's pretty good. Also, he didn't actually, like, he... He wasn't credited with a win or loss in most of those games. <laughs> he had a shutout last year with the Panthers. It's pretty good. He also actually did a good job of black and whiting the uh, logos. It's not, <coughs> they, they made it look in. It's actually black and white. Ooh, <coughs> a marquee legend, Dominic Hasek. It's a good one. Great with his uh, mask, uh, the cage mask. It's pretty exciting. Matthew Kuchuk. That's a good one. Yeah, he's fine. Kind of an asshole. Ooh. This is a good one. Jacob Markstrom. It's a good pack. And Craig Smith. That's pretty good. So we got Hashik, Markstrom, and Kuchuk. Not bad at all. All right, pack two. 
Who is the Men Knight? Dreejerk? Probably. Alright, off the top. Rocco Grimaldi. He's got a name. <laughs> He's from California. Amazing. Sean Couturier. Very good player. From Arizona. It's almost like putting teams in those places made rich white kids play hockey and they wouldn't have before. Mm -hmm. Ottawa Senator Chris Tierney. He exists. Right. Yeah. I have seen him. JVR. Our insert for this pack is one of these really cool narrow cards for Tyler Sagan. And his color on the back. Yeah, wow. They're, uh... It's the same photo, though, like... so... <laughs> they want to pay two photographers. That's pretty neat. I like these cards. They just, like, are a different size. And that's exciting. Yeah. It's all it takes. He got scratched last season because he missed the team breakfast. Oh. <laughs> so he's not a team player. Yeah. But he also says the Black Lives Matter, so that's nice, at least. I don't mind him. And yeah. like, honestly, who cares about the team breakfast? Yeah. We actually have another insert. Jansen Harkins of the Jets. Guy I've never heard of. But he's a marquee rookie. One of my uh, least favorite jerseys. Yeah. I hate the Jets one. So boring, like colors wise. And they're also just like Air Force. Like, make it like a weird passenger jet, like the old one. Uh, Victor Arvidsson. Sure. And a good, this is a good one. Ooh. Jake Furtanen in the black jersey from Abbotsford. Actually, it says he's from New Westminster, but he went to high school in Abbotsford. Not like Shea Theodore, who went to high school at Alford Community Secondary School. <laughs> that's a guess, true. I think he went to like, <laughs> Yale, too. Well, he's from Alder Grove. So two packs of two Canucks. That's pretty good. Yeah. And like, Three or four players have never ever heard. <gasps> okay, this is a real good card. <laughs> I didn't see it. AHL almost all star. He wasn't on the all stars because he was on the team this year. But classic Marley, Rasmus Sandin. That's a good one. That's the best one we got so far. Yeah. Ghost Bear. Jane Gosta's bear. I know nothing about him, only that people call him that and use emojis. Uh, I like this one, Alex Kerfoot. He prefers to go by Alexander, actually. OPT, thanks. He went to Harvard. <laughs> Everyone made fun of him so much for saying that he goes by Alexander. And it's like, I mean, it's what he wants to be called. Yeah. You can just call him what he wants to be called. Yeah. At least it's not Xander. <laughs> David Savar. Whatever. Ooh, I like this one too. This is a, a good insert. The season highlights. I don't know what the highlight is, but just Sveshnikov. I guess it has something to do with. Oh no, the season highlight is he scores two to beat the Flames. The, it, really? Is that like a highlight? Sveshnikov scored both of Carolina's goals in the third period. Oh, because like so this is why, including a breathtaking lacrosse style goal. So I feel like that's a misleading title because it should just be lacrosse goal. And yeah, the lacrosse goal is fine. It's like neat because nobody ever did it. But I also assume that they're going to be like, the goalies are going to be like, oh, I know how to stop this and stop it easily. Yeah. They also really splurged on the printing on the back. Yes. Two colors. That is the difference between the President's Choice cereal boxes and the name brand cereal boxes. Bobby Orr, my birthday buddy, sort of. I decided I don't like him, so I don't really want to share a birthday with him anymore, but whatever. It's not as good as only Kajik. Here's a nice card. Wayne Simmons. Um, people think that he's going to come to Toronto, but it sort of sounds like sounded more like he was saying, I would like to, but they can't afford me. <laughs> Because they're, he was like, well, they've got, like, cap issues, but, you know, I guess I'd be into it. You can't really see it, but he's wearing the really nice gold jersey. Yeah, those are really nice. 
But I think they have new jerseys for next season because they're like, oh, I can't have nice things. Yeah. And people are like really excited about them. Like, Isn't this like, it's just blue and white. Isn't that how weird jerseys always do? And Devin Dupik. Right. Pack three. Pack four. four. Are we half done? No. There's ten packs altogether. <laughs> the packaging is also like this really cheap, like weird plastic. Not as nice. <laughs> yeah, as... not easy to open. It's like the. It's kind of like the same type of plastic that the cereal comes in. <laughs> yeah, it's like multiple layers that are weirdly stretchy. All right, Nick Levy, okay. Elias Lindholm, all right. I don't know why they wear these jerseys with the black C. It's so much less nice than their like colorful ones. Mm -hmm. Same kind of deal as St. Louis, where they have that really, really nice Fake old one. Mm -hmm. Oh, we also have this other one that sounds good. <laughs> well, you get some more I guess. Travis Zajac. Okay. Carter Hutton. Insert is uh, Ian Cole. I, I know, can't packs tell, or... like, what it is. It's just like a different card. But. Yeah, it's very confusing. Like, it's just a different looking card. There's nothing special about it. It's just different. <laughs> it's the upgraded cardboard. <laughs> it's worse. This is like weird and thin. Oh, no, it is. <laughs> weird. It's got to save some money. <laughs> Team checklist. Ooh, a Washington <laughs> Capitals. There's like the early 90s upper deck ones where the team checklist would have like a really cool painting. Those are really nice. This is terrible. <laughs> well, you know, they're going to get Mike Babcock to be their coach, so I'm sure they'll fail. Congratulations to them. Yeah. Robert Thomas wearing that nice blues jersey. We were just nice. talking about that jersey. Kind of a coincidence. And Jacob Brenner. Fine. Not a great back. Yeah. Highlight was the jersey, the blues jersey. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And Danny Dadanov. Mm. It's been kind of a bust. How you say it? Cheeto? Cheeto, I think. Cheeto. Emil Bramstrom. I've never heard of this person. No, me neither. He played uh, 55 uh, games. Huh. Wow. It's called the Blue Jackets, though. Yeah. To Grask, Boston Hero. Oh, it's another one of those uh, shitty inserts. Samuel Gerard. He's good, so I feel less ripped off than Ian Cole. Is it just like. They gave Colorado their own set. I don't know. <laughs> Just like those the old inserts. Kevin LeBlanc. Whatever. Samuel Gerard had the bad fortune of being immediately overshadowed by Kel McCarr. Which would also be exciting to get a Kel McCarr card. Yeah, that would be nice. Nikita Kucherov. Ooh. It's pretty good. I kinda want Tampa Bay to win. Yeah. Because it's I mean, like the Islanders are terrible. They uh they a cop their hero of your name. And then, like, Vegas, I guess. Dallas, I hate for Dominic Hashik reasons. And they're, like, Noble. ugly beige shorts. <laughs> James Neal, four goals in one game. I like that they were able to take the risk of wearing beige shorts. <laughs> they knew what their audience was. Texans. Just love beige shorts. <laughs> they should have worn like cargo shorts. 
I mean, honestly, they knew what their audience was. White people. Yeah. <laughs> Khakis. <laughs> Blake Lazzotti? Yeah. Trevor Moore's teammate. Yeah, I I have heard of him. Damon Severson? Of the Devils? Oh. Got a Czech player from the Boston Bruins. Everyone's favorite. Not Pasternak. No. Andre Cachet. Cam Talbot? Oh, so it's not just the Avalanche. Oh. Thomas Tatar. I, I'm really curious, like, what these cards are. Is it just, like, an alternate cheaper printing? I, I don't know. Ryan Paling. Don't really care. Got a good one. The, like, I don't know, sixth best player on the team. Brock Besser. Ooh. He, they were talking to the Canucks about bullying, and, like, they were, like, <laughs> What was a big struggle? Um, oh, shit. Sure. Oh, we haven't been oh. seeing this at all. Dang. Uh, whoops. Yeah, Scully Bob is right. No, I'm not like, I don't know. Bobby Orr is too, like, right leaning. <laughs> but what was I talking about? Brock Besser. Oh, yeah. Bully. So they were like, oh, how'd you guys get bullied? And then the people sort of had, like, real things, like, the least person was like, well, they said that I was, like, too skinny, even though he's amazing. And, like, Queen he was like, they told me I was too short. And then Brett was like, well, I was just too good looking. Everyone called me, like, pretty boy and handsome. And they said I couldn't play hockey. <laughs> like, that's not true. Like, that didn't happen, and that's not a real problem. Also, after the Raptors won, they, for some reason, had, like, a chat with him where he was like, congratulations to the Toronto Raptors on their big accomplishment. <laughs> like, why didn't you talk to him at all? Yeah. Like, he's from Minnesota. And a robot. Yeah, like, why would he be happy that the Raptors won? He doesn't, he's not a Raptors fan. Anyways, Brock Western. I mean, so, Pedersen and Hughes are obviously better. Horvat and Miller are obviously better. Is he fifth? The marks are better? Capoli maybe is better? I don't know. I mean, who knows? He's like, he's whatever. He's fine. Yeah. So that's a keeper. Yeah. And last in the back, Ivan Barbashev. So the highlight was definitely Pretty Boy Besser. Yeah. We got three packs, four packs, if you count this one. Ooh, Vasilevsky in like the worst. <laughs> dullest uniform. They kind of remind all me of right. those pads from the early 90s that were like all white, but they got super, super scuffed up immediately. And they just looked like they're wearing like weird garbage bags. It's just, I don't know, it looks like it's black and white photo almost on top. Like when they change, like when you get the photos and they Photoshop like a rose to be red or something, and they just like Photoshopped it to be black and white. Yeah. Evgeny Malkin. Oh. Ooh. 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 Checklist. Not even a team checklist. Just a regular old checklist. Is there anyone on this checklist that I want? Tyson Berry. Uh, Chris Tanev. Mikheyev. Where? Oh. Tavares, but that's not as exciting. Yeah. I would just accept it, Tavares. Uh, Jake Gardner would be fine. Yeah. What about the back? Is there more? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Patrick Kane and tear that right up. Ooh, is that so? That would be funny to laugh at. Mm. The checklist is on the checklist, so that's helpful. Mm -hmm. Captain. Yeah. Anyways, we got the one of those skinny cards again of Jack Eichel. It's pretty nice. I like the uh, yellow. Oh yeah, was the other one yellow? No. I wonder if the yellow is like more rare or less rare. And league leaders and goals boots. Boots. 
goes Ovechkin, Pasternak, Austin Which, Matthews. They were tied. Like, oh, yeah. Is there another card for <laughs> Pasternak? It seems unfair. Yeah. Oh, this guy I don't like. Matt Duchesne. He's just, there's something wrong with him. <laughs> I don't trust him. I don't, he's just got no sense of humor. I don't like him. <laughs> Tyler Johnson. And Miko Koskinen. There also haven't been any good like advertisements in the background. Yeah. Those Sour Patch cards was really good. Yeah, that was the winner. Okay. Adam Pellick. I feel like he's the one we, we open up his cards all the time. I don't remember him yeah. at all, so. Oliver Bjorkstrand. Jamie Alexiak. Carrie Price. It's fine. <laughs> We've shared all the stories, but Carrie Price already. <laughs> yeah, there's no more stories. Ugh. Red Wings. Yeah, I don't want like a team card. I don't even want a Canucks one, honestly. Even though, if, oh, I would want a Marley's one. If they were nice, I would like them a lot. But instead, they're very, very bad and boring. <laughs> It's a good one. That's your Demko. Ooh, that is a good one. Had an amazing really playoff good. run. Yeah. From California. All these California players. I wonder if he knows Trevor Moore. I should ask him. I bet he does. Michael Backlund. Philip Dineau. That's it. That's it. So. A couple more packs. Now we're on the bonus packs. Got a lot of connects, though. Mm -hmm. Rasmus Sandin. Oh, yeah, special, Sandin is a good one. Special card. <clears throat> Two of the skinny cards. Yeah, he was like, it was crazy. And he really felt like they were going to win that series just completely on the back of Thatcher, Dem Thatcher Demko, which would have been so undeserved. But, like, <laughs> it was amazing. Adam Fox. Cop. Yep. Ooh, another checklist. Anyone good? There's... So... I would enjoy to find... David Pasternak. We got Satya Demko and Rasmus Sandin. Uh, JT Miller would be a good one. Dylan DeMello is pretty funny. Yeah. Uh, Austin Matthews. I like Austin Matthews, even though he's like... Ooh, all the girls, Shea Theodore. I would enjoy that. Justin Williams. I love Justin Williams. Uh, Andreas Janssen. Yeah. Oh, wait, what was the back? Yeah. Matt Dumbo's pretty good. I like him. Debrincat is a good name. Yeah. Johnny mm. Goudreau, because I like him. Because he's afraid of the cannon. Yeah, no other good ones. Sam Reinhardt. Here's like one of those shitty special ones. Jakob Silverberg. I don't think it's valuable to have an all mint set. I don't think most of the cards are worth anything even in a complete set. Like, it would only be like individual cards that are worth anything. You know what is worth a lot of money though? Diamonds. <laughs> Yeah, just put diamonds in your set. Which is what they do. Yeah. Misa? Misha? I don't know. I'm not sure how to say this. Play three they games. don't have the ways to say it. Play three games? That's fun. Good for him. I wonder if he's on the Barracuda. Probably. Matt Barzal. Is this the guy that Missed the goal. Or missed the net. Oh, uh, maybe. I don't know what you're talking about, but. Derek Stefan. He possibly was the person that. I don't know. Missed the net. The oh, net. no, you're thinking of Patrick Stefan. Oh. I always get them mixed up. So the because it's, the name is the same. And Radic Foxa. Czech Republic. 
Um, none of the stars cards we got have those ridiculous zero bombs though. Or like shorts. Well it was only for um, the stadium. Yeah, the outdoor okay. game. Alright, last one. So we still need to get Ron Hainsey and Quinn Hughes. And Trevor Moore. And Trevor Moore. It'd be nice if Kale McCarr was in here too. Yeah. So they'll probably be. And there'll be none of those cards. Jimmy VC. Much sought after free agent. He decided not to sign with, I think, Nashville after he was done college. And everyone was like, we have to get him. And he's had like 20 points last season. And you should still try to get players who you can get for like free like that. Just with some actually. Anders Bjork, Devin Shore, Dmitry Kulikov, right? <laughs> Team checklist, Sharks. At least we've got like a blue out back. We now have yellow and white. Tyler oh, Sagan. so we got special and less special Tyler Sagan. I don't know which one is which, but definitely. What's this gift that you shared? Oh, guy on his head. It's uh, dangerous. <laughs> yes. After that, he had to be out for 10 minutes. All right. Brett Connolly. Yeah. Very, very last card. Austin Matthews. Oh, that's a good one to end on. Lady Bang Runner. <laughs> yeah. Oh, baby. In the chat. Let's see. All right, we got like a pretty good collection. This set wasn't as bad as I thought it might be. Like, it's a lot less ugly than the Upper Deck MVP set that they is like the first set they release every year. Um, yeah. But that's a one I'd say. Uh, Jack Hughes card. So. That's true, yeah, but it won us a Jack Hughes MVP card. <laughs> <It's true>. So <laughs> it's like, meh. Um, I like the set because you literally did not know who it was going to be, and there are people that are like, this person played a game. Yeah, we like, get any doubles. Yeah, I would uh, I would buy another one of these. Yeah. It's a good one. I think my favorite ones that we got were the HL one. Obviously, that one was yeah. so good, the first one. The second one was like, whatever, but. Well, we got that, like, Chris Mueller card, though. Yeah. yeah and okay. that was a nice one. Um, and I like the Value Village set, too. Yeah. Like, the last one. That one was fun, because it was also just, like, a bunch of randos. Yeah. So, yeah, in the summation, we got Sandine, Kerfoot, and Matthews for the Leafs. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. We got... Ooh. Bertanen, Besser, Demko, and uh, Markstrom for the Canucks. So no Pedersen, no Hughes. No, uh, yeah. And no, the, no Berland. Yeah. Those all would have been, been nice. We got Bobby Orr, which I don't care about. John McCashick, is awesome. Favorite player of all time. That is a nice thing, though, about that MVP set, is we could get Michael Furland card. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got the lacrosse eventually. Also, if you're going to make a card of the lacrosse goal, how come you didn't use a, use picture. a picture of the lacrosse goal? That's <laughs> really, really stupid. I, it's upsetting. I guess it's just a thing where they're like, whatever, people just like cards, so put pictures on it. Like they should just have pictures of not even the player. <laughs> And we got the skinny cards. So, yeah, that was a pretty fun set. And I think, okay. like, given that we didn't even get any doubles except for kind of the Sagan one, I would open another pack of these. It was pretty good. All right. Thanks well, for watching. Thanks, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.